Hi everybody, what I'm going to show you is my 357 LEDs video light for $10 and a waterproof underwater video light for $25. So I was thinking to buy one of them online, but they are very costly. The cheapest one I can find is $40 and if I need to match the quality that I'm building, it would be at several hundred dollars. Here are the material that I bought on eBay, an LED strip, a battery holder, and a controller. They're good for two sets of LED lights. For the casing of the two line, for the cheaper one, I choose to use the free lunch box that I just picked it up from a restaurant. It's amazing, that thing is about the right size. And for the underwater, I purchased an auto box, waterproof underwater, use casing. It's about $15 on eBay. It's rated for 100 meter underwater. Here you can see that they have some prints on the case that later on I will be using sandpaper to sand it down to make a smooth surface for the surface of the light. On the lunch box I cut up the edge of the lid but preserved it the tab on the yeah, edge. The tabs will be helping to hold down the lid onto the case and that fits pretty well as you can see. And then putting on the lid the edge of the lid, snapping it on, the tab will be helping to hold down the lid onto the case. I'm going to drill two holes on here to let the wire of the control go through and for the battery here. Gathering the materials here, I have the lead, the edge, the LEDs on the background, as you can see. And the case here, I drilled two holes to let the controller go through. This is what it's like. And the LEDs, every three LEDs you can cut it up to work independently. I cut up seven sections to make it 21 on one strip. And I managed to light up 17 straps onto the lid which adds up to 357 LEDs. <laughs> On the outside of the case, I'm also going to draw another hole to connect a 12 volt adapter outlet for direct. Alright, this is how it looks like when 357 LEDs slice up onto the lid. To solder all the LED together to work, um, traditional way I have to make 17 times 4 which is like 80 something connections. But if you know how a parallel circuit works, I managed to just pair up two wires on the side and just solder all the positive on one side and negative on the other side. In lighting up testing, now here is how it looks like when it's slapped onto the back case. The controller, I managed to put a hot shoe adapter on the bottom. And the build of the case is actually pretty solid, which is out of my expectation. I thought it would be flimsy. Alright, turning it on, as you can see it on the back of the controller, you can actually adjust the brightness of the video light. Also, there are several different modes I can use. 
which I will show you later on. Flashing. This is the Autobox 3000 series I purchased on eBay for the underwater field light. And I decided to upgrade the battery into a lithium ion battery. But if budget is you an issue, you can stick it with the AA battery holder for the video. Here I cut up a plastic board for the backing of the LEDs on the Autobox. I drilled two holes to make two strings through so when I put the board into the auto box it will be easier for me to put it back out. Here is the battery and the controller and I make a little hole at the top to let the wire go through. Here is the front when all the LED lights up. When I was testing the LEDs I found one section Filing. It's easy to replace it in this system because you can cut it up every three LED and just store it, store it. Testing it out, it's bright. I was just testing it on a 12 volt adapter. I haven't put the battery on yet. It works well. Okay, on the auto box, I cut up some foam to line the surrounding of the front of the video light. This is to serve as a little buffer zone between the case and the LED so that the LED can diffuse it well. I send down the surface so now you don't see the works and it gives out a smooth surface to use it as a diffuser. Now testing it on, it works well. Pulling the living battery onto the case, I designed to offset the living battery to the side and slot off to the middle of the whole thing. I put a little foam on top of the battery to hold down it into the case. The offset serve to give a space in the case so that I can just hide the adapter with it so I would never lose my adapter to charge my lithium ion battery. It's just some random tape I left on when I was testing the light. Now this is the switch on the lithium battery and turning it on. Here is the final product of the underwater video light and how bright it is. Again, this is the 231 LEDs underwater video light and it's rated to go underwater for 100 feet. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you will like it and enjoy your video.